What's up guys, it's Pope John Paul here and we're back with another episode of Rome 2 Empire Divided campaign. This is episode 18, I'm pretty sure. So we're, getting, we're doing quite well right now. Um, on the episodes, we're getting quite a long way into this uh, campaign. We have a eastern incursion here which we need to deal with and we also need to deal with the rest of Spain um, before we can look at Britain. But I am probably going to try and wrap this campaign up in this part if not um in the next part it would be nice to get it done and both these those parts may come out this week because i'd like to get this campaign basically well and truly done and in doing so i'm going to end the turn and just get on with, get on with it instead of chatting away i'd like to end this um uh, yep yeah, i would happily make you a client state there we go britannia making a client state excellent um no make a client state that is what i i demand and trade no didn't think so we'll keep on fighting for spain then well, britain is now a client state we will try and take the rest of the land on behalf of their main if you also um break client state treaty oh no Break defensive alliance? No. Break non aggression pack? No. Um, join war against Bactria? Eh. I'm not that bothered about them. They can do what they want. So, anyway, hire bodyguards. Jail the suspect? I'll hire bodyguards. Slums, oh brilliant, not what we needed. And Rome has a high chance of succession or war. Oh, we have a high chance of succession or civil war, you say? How's hi how high is high? Uh, not high. You're the only one, I'll claw your loyalty. And we have about a million things that just came through in Discord, which we didn't need to know about. Apologies for that. We will get rid of the slums here and we will get rid of that there so we spent all our money really on uh, on just getting stuff done just getting the job done so there we go go and take that we will take that for 69 percent so yeah i'm going to take the rest of spain and i will try and retake britain and that bit of um, Asia that we've lost uh, well I say Asia it's like Turkey really isn't it you don't call that Asia um, this should be easy I know we haven't really fought the Easterners but the um, unfortunately this campaign losing a bit of interest and it's dragging on a bit I'd like to call it an end if people were still interested in it then um, I would carry on and if you are still interested please let me know and I will um, drop it down in the comments and I will carry on the campaign because I'm more than happy to but I need to really need to see some um, evidence that people want to carry on see, still seeing it especially when I could I am planning to possibly do more uh, Imperator and maybe a different Total War um, campaign in its place so we have plenty lined up I'm going to send this small legion across to help oh okay so you're losing a lot of land quite quickly very quickly in fact you can go off there and then you just need to be upgraded and we will give you I'll give it I'll give it that one. Get more less banditry in the world. Less bandits are always handy. Um, and you spent all your money and stuff. So we will end the turn. And we will see what happens. Hopefully nothing too bad. Especially with um, all the major Roman factions gone. That's another good uh, end point really. Britain has submitted itself to me. Though it is very much down to one state right now. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the good reason to call it a, call it an end, really. 
I don't know what Egypt's doing with that army, but I'm really not sure. We've got rebellion here, and Vandali have taken that. I'm not even going to try and fight that. Brilliant! We have a rebellion. I did not. I didn't see that. So we need to go and take Istros back, or we could leave it to the rebels. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll probably go and take it back. Senab has been triumph. A plague in Senabum. I'm pretty sure that probably does. Uh, a rebellion. Oh, I get the notification as it happens, and then it disappears again. Um, we'll put a thingy in, and uh, because I'm sure, no, nah, it's going up. There's Eastern uh, culture in this part of the world. Wow, that's impressive. And then we'll put procreators, and then you can start marching towards this uh, Istros. With that legion, you put a one of those in there, bring that up, and then keep marching with these legions and the the Spanish legions, as they are to be known as, because that's what they are. They are in Spain. That's don't know why I'm doing that. I'm talking rubbish as usual. Anyway, massacre them again. Almost done. And then we will we may get a battle in this uh, episode. Hopefully, we can find a worthy, a worthy fight. If not, I will possibly, for one last time, show you uh, like a maybe like an if we attack a, a garrison or something like that, or if we maybe for this one because it's the last Roman uh, walled city. Because look at that, I'm just romping through. Oh. Sorry through the chest, we've just seen that over there. Can we have can we have a mix of please of how you're killing people? Just like that, we've taken that settlement, so we'll just change that to that. I could bring in some better troops. I'm really not that bothered. Most of these are Okay, the auxiliary scutiari are quite good. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in the last last episode. Um I could and I might yeah, I'll, I'll land before because I think I'm going to go to war. I'll declare war on the Caledoni now. Um, retake Britain. Speak quickly and well. Speak declare and war. Declare war. There we go. Excellent. Right, so we declared war on them. And now we... Oh, we've got to do this one bit uh, by... Yeah, oh, that's annoying. Another, like whole turn. So we'll send this legion up to Borokum. This one can take Iskar back and then it can move to Mordunum. Then we want to Stanwick and that's where we have to hold it because that's York or just like somewhere around York anyway. That's basically the top of the uh, empire in Rome. It's around there with Hadrian's Wall. And this legion's leveled up again. Oh well yeah, yeah, basically. The upkeep can get better. Um then we'll end the turn. Just keep ending the turn. But yeah, if you people guys, if you guys want to see, oh, they'll give me a lot of money, but unless you're gonna make a client state, <laughs> they would actually. Well, there you go. I'll make them a, I'll make Caledonia a client state, and there we go. We've ended our occupation, uh, the problems in Britain. I don't know if um, they carry on fighting each other, but. <laughs> that was fairly simple, wasn't it? We've ended that uh, problem there. We can make the tribes of Britain subjugated to us. Peace treaty with Maine. No, I'm not gonna, you're not going to get money off me. Um, demand 3,000. No, I demand 2,000. No, oh, fine, have peace. Just get out. Get out of my sight. You barbarians! And now we've got more problems here. Assassination plot, plus five. Kill the assassin, you certain strength. Oh, cool. Nice. Right. What's the loyalty of all these people? Risk zero. Excellent. People love me. Um, I'll attack here. Again, very, very simple. I don't like how they get Evocati legions as their generals. It's very annoying. I would have liked to have them myself. Cavalry's great and all, but 
Avakai Legion is very elite infantry which could win the battle, win certainly several battles. Then we'll... I could do this and I would like to but the last siege crashed and I'm not sure if I'd like to do it again. I am I'm trying to wrap up the campaign very very quickly as well so if I just take it there's no need as well 90% I would have liked to show more battles and we have tailed off a bit on this campaign showing battles but we will have more in future in future campaigns there will be more battles and we'll probably have a uh, there will be a, another Rome, well not Rome, necessary Rome 2 campaign, but there will certainly be another campaign coming uh, very, very soon. Not a Rome campaign, what am I on about? I have lost track, sorry guys. Um, another Rome 2 battle or maybe Game of Thrones, since we've had the uh, latest episode of Game of Thrones come out. Though I will not spill anything about that. So we are... Got one more settlement to take, and then that is it. That's all the rebellious uh, um, Re Romans done and dealt with. The Caledoni are, yeah, still at war with the, um, of these guys, but I'm not really that bothered. I could see whether we could end, make them um, make a peace. No. They hate me as well. I <laughs> like just subjugated you. Yeah, I'm sure you hate me. Um, just put you there. I'll keep like a garrison here on on Britain. Fortify. We could take a load of their their spearmen uh, or swordsmen. I'll take a sword, Celtic swordsman. There's an auxiliary unit, and then um, Legio. Dacia or Dakica, however you say that word. No, I'm not that bothered. Um, so yeah, one more, one more settlement to go. So it might be one or two more turns, and that's it. Oh, and I have, didn't take Istros, but looks like the Vandalia beat me to it anyway. So, um, oh well. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and work's gone well and episodes like that i am very very sorry that this is a bit of a rushed episode um i've i'm fairly tired from my trains and stuff like that i've just got back peace negotiate good they've made peace um so yeah i did want to get it out and i kind of want to get this uh series to a close so i can move on to the next one really i'd like to get this uh, this uh all done really so we will move you up there. I have another legion down here, but I'm not really that fussed about all of these. I'll put Sol Invictor in there. Put a herding ground in there and put a polis in here. Why not? Can do anything. Got the money. Um Did you destroy anything? No, not in time. You can put a one of them in there and then did we have slums getting built over here oh we had stuff going on but not slums yet then we'll build a farm and a soul invictus you can just be a garrison here also in rome in rome in uh, britain jeez i am more tired than I thought if I'm thinking that's Britain and Rome. Oh, Celtic rebels in Stanwick. They probably will rebel. So one more turn, I think, and then we will finally take the final settlement, Brigantium, from uh, the, well, not the usurpers, but the the rebels. So in the turn. Oh. Britain is for some reason coming over to land in northern France. It's a bit late. But yes, we are nearly done. Come on. No more problems. No more random wars that happen. Okay, missing taxes in Corsica and Sardinia. Now we've got Christmas somewhere. Excellent. Right, we'll do that. You get a, one of those. Not that we're really going to need much more. Sol Invictus would mean... I will put Shrine of Neptune in. Even though we don't need any of this because we are very, very nearly done. And it is nearly. 
It's nearly over. Oh, you're kidding me. We can't get it there. That's annoying. That is that is annoying that it's going to take one more turn. And we're down to 5,000 um, monies. Wow. 5,000 monies. Wonder what all the rest of the money's gone been spent on. Um, anyway, we will put latrines in there. And we will put a harbour in there. And a vigilies in there. And build that. And put a... I guess we could put a, pe a meeting place in there. Then we'll end the turn. One more time again. We'll get it all done. But yeah, um, if you guys um, want to see another Rome Total War campaign or an Imperator campaign, please let me know. Put it down in the comments. Um, if your option is already down there, um, just like the comment, and then we um, then I'll have a very good understanding of what we want, what you guys want next. And I am more than happy to um, do whatever you guys want. If you you name it, I'll try and do it if I've got it. Um, anyway, so. I wonder if it's because it's winter that we just took a huge hit in income. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Because we have taken the final settlement and executed these guys. Death. To them all. And we won't subjugate. Well, I will not subjugate these guys. I will take their summon. There we go. Lusitania dead. That's it. Civil War. Uh, well, technically we have retaken all the lands of the rebels or subjugate them in one way or another there are bits and bobs that are not quite right like garamantir has gone out of control here and maori own a bit but that will do we are complete aurelian can has no rivals now in the roman world and he can finally rest easy he's never actually got to rome but he he didn't <laughs> He did get a lot of uh, Asia for the people of Rome. And that's that that does that's good enough. Doesn't need to do anything else. I'll just slap in a thing like that. I don't know why I'm bothering. We we're done. So yeah, if you guys do want to see um, more of Rome two, then please let me know. Um, and yeah, or if you want to see Imperator, you want to see more. I am planning to do some Imperator. Um, maybe a co-op with I have uh, someone lined up for that but um, if you want to see another single player imperative campaign while uh, I wait on that starting then please let me know um, yeah so thank you guys for watching this campaign I really hope you've enjoyed it uh, really enjoyed the journey and uh, until next time guys bye for now